the foot blaster built-in triggers. With the foot blaster triggers or, or any built-in triggers like the Axis E kits or on triggers, most probably the first thing that's eliminated, vibrations from other drums, toms, floor tom, snare, your bass player that's always in the way. So you can actually, you know, uh, crank up the, the threshold, uh, or rather lower the threshold. So it, it can be even more sensitive if you needed to. Secondly, the muffling and uh, head tightness is not gonna affect it too much. I'm not gonna say that it's not affecting it at all because it does, but not as much definitely as an acoustic trigger. The thing that I always try to do is that I'm setting them up uh, to fire a tiny little bit sooner than the beater hit, hits the bass drum. What you probably understood anyway is that I can actually play the trigger without touching the bass drum. Well, as some people would consider it cheating, of course, uh, the, the reason for this is that I have a specific uh, swivel technique when I just rely trying to bounce the footboard, but I'm not really even focusing on pushing, you know, like gaining a lot of power and pushing the beater inside the, the bass drum. I'm just trying to focus on swinging it and uh, staying in tempo. And that's why I don't have a problem of playing and slowing down. So like, for example, if a tempo is too much for me, I'm not slowing down of being tired and not being able to do, to, to play this tempo, but rather I have my pedals not touching the bass drum anymore. That's the thing, that's like my my kind of problem. And that's the reason that the foot blasters are firing a tiny little bit sooner. If by any chance I'm slightly not reaching the bass drum, so that's why they are set up like this. Of course, I try all the time to hit the bass drum, you know. Maybe it's not that hard, maybe it's not that powerful and loud, but I don't really care about that. I just need it to fire and work properly. Uh, this is a whole new level, you know, if, if you've been playing metal or death metal or anything fa that involves fast double bass and you've been using acoustic trigger and then you have to switch to built-in triggers, this is like, a, you know, you're in heaven. This is so good, it's so perfect, so precise. I mean, I'm not precise, but the triggers are precise. I still need to work on a lot of things. But most importantly, so what I have here, I have pretty much loose bass drum head, but it's fully muffled. I'm using the foot blasters. I'm using the Roland R uh, TM2. The settings for both foot blasters are the same. I have retrig cancel nine on both. I have threshold 21 on both. Thank you very much, Drum Technique Academy. So we're gonna say goodbye till next time.